design, formatting, layout. These three things take too long in Tableau. And in the third part of my discussion with Tristan, he showed me a tool called Figma to Tableau. If you haven't seen it already, he just announced it. I'm releasing this video the week after he's announced it. And it's a tool that decouples those three things from the activity of actually making your workbook. So in short, what you can do is you can take your workbook, put it into Figma, get Figma to do all the styling and the layout in the way that you want to do it. And it can export a workbook with those formatting design and layout things applied, ready to go. And so what that does is it makes it actually an enjoyable experience to get consistent designs easily and quickly. And the best thing is Figma is free. So this is not gonna be something that you know costs you an arm and a leg to do. You can go on a browser, use Figma. You can download Figma to your laptop and use it. Uh, needless to say, <laughs> at least Tristan is putting some energy into this particular thing. And I'll just also say this, it boggles my mind that in all the years of Tableau, this one area has never had time. I just don't get it. And even in the fourth wave, we didn't see anything <laughs> about the layout system. I mean, if you use Tableau for half a day and you're passionate about it, you'd know that is the area, at least I think, that needs the biggest amounts of improvements. People do silly things just to get nice layouts in Tableau. That shouldn't have to be the case. But thank God Tristan is answering that question. In this video, he walks through a demo, he shows some examples, and hopefully I think you'll think that this is a really powerful tool that you can use to enhance the way you build Tableau workbooks. As ever, let's get stuck in. So let's let's talk a bit about the Figma plugin. Where where did that where did that idea come from? Because I know Figma is big in the Tableau community, has been for a while. I'm I'm personally frowned upon it being used for design, but I know that people use whatever they have to get the, 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 their job done. And I'm not going to be the one to say don't do it. So yeah, where did you get this idea from and, and sort of what is it? So like I told you in a in a previous part, like mm -hmm. really at some point I was okay, I want to be better at data visualization. What tools yeah. can I learn? And yeah. As you say, Figma in the even right in the design world, it's super big, right? Yeah. Every this kind of not every, but most of the designer today are on Figma. If you work with company, it is likely that they will also Tableau use Figma, like yeah. Tableau build. Yeah. Tableau is building Tableau with Figma, right? Yeah, it's, absolutely. It's just their design. Yeah. So I was using it to build my dashboard, my public dashboard mostly, and I was using the kind of okay, well. The, the the rounded corners, all of those things, you want mm -hmm. them, so you kind of need to make them in Figma, then export as a background image, and right. and then put your charts on top. Also, I would just see with auto layout, so it's a way to make frames in Figma, how more efficient I could be at, at building a dashboard if it was in, right. in Figma, right? And to also come back to the point that we we talked last time or before it was mm -hmm. difficult like tableau is missing some things right yeah. and i think everyone will agree that well these extensions are great because we have new capabilities but making dashboards in tableau is still, still too painful hard. yeah yeah 100%. people don't like containers the like it's not that they like containers i would i would <laughs> think that you could like containers if the way to make containers was like enjoyable a, was Enjoyable, right? <laughs> and then if you if you drag if you just m move the things with the arrow to align, it should not break your container. Yeah. Those kind of things. Yeah. So for years, I have asked Tableau to give us an API, like a kind of like the dashboard API, yeah. but like a UI API mm -hmm. that would allow us to make an extension, yeah. some kind of extension on the dashboard level that will allow us to rearrange the element on the dashboard. Yes. Yes. Right? Because you can just add things to the dashboard. You cannot programmatically rearrange your element. Right. So you're like, okay, this is not going to happen. Then I think just by doing the, the other tools, like the, the advis and the, the tool yeah. to generate the KPI, I kind of noticed that, okay, by modify Tableau is just an XML file. Yes, yes. So as long as you can rewrite the XML, you could rearrange the element, right? Yes. And eventually that's how it started. The idea of like, well, if... Figma is also, you can also use Figma API to get each nodes that you have in your design. Yeah. So if I could use Figma to really quickly build my dashboard with all the nice feature, like capabilities that Figma yeah. has to, to 
like something super simple, multi-select different containers yeah. to add the same padding, color, On all border, of <laughs> all of them at once, right? This yeah. is, if you have been Standard using Figma, stuff. this is, yeah. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's easy, I, I can, easy, yeah. I really cannot, you need to yeah. go one by one. You cannot multi-select containers. That for me is like, right? It's crazy. So if I could design in Figma and then with one click, convert that UI. So just the UI, right? I don't care about the mm -hmm. data. I don't care about the sheet, just the UI of my dashboard. And I could just write the equivalent XML of what I have in Figma. Yeah. That would save me a lot of time. And every tool that we have created is always initially for us as a way to be more efficient with our client. Right. It's like if, if I can build something in, in, in half a day instead of two is better, yeah. right? Yeah. So how can we be more efficient? Well, if we could, um, tr like if we could export Figma design to Tableau, we'd be much more efficient. So we did it for yeah. us and then package it into, into a product. Nice. So that, that was really how it started is, and also, um, as a, as a consultant, when we work with client, a lot of them already have a designer that has made right. a dashboard. Right. They all usually come with us with like, hey, this is what we had in mind for the wireframe. So right. the title, the button, the <laughs> navigation, the image, yeah. blah, blah, blah. And okay, yeah. oh, you want that in Tableau? Okay, just give me 10 minutes. I will just rename the things yeah. as they need to be named and, and export it. And yeah. Half a day of work to make all of the containers is is done in one click. Exactly, and it's repeatable. This is the big thing about your 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 setup. It's like you can get to that very quickly every single time. Whereas in Tableau, unfortunately, you have to restart that effort every single time, and it's just it's so painful. Uh, I, I've made videos about layout containers for years. It's yeah. one of my fourth most watched videos, like silly how to play around with this empty container so that you get the spacing, <laughs> you know, all of this stuff. And again, you've, you've solved it. So yeah, this is incredible. And so I guess, was, yeah, go uh -huh. for it. Sorry. No, no, that, that was the main idea. And then now it, it kind of evolved. It's not released yet, but because we were a yes. bit focused on Visa extension, yes, but it will yes. come very, very soon. Like by the end of the month, that is really what we aim for. Yeah. We have that new capability that we showcase at TC mm -hmm. that not every Tableau developers know how to use Figma. Correct. Right. Especially doing auto layout and, and those kind of things. But what we want is like Figma is free first. Correct. So everyone could everyone use Figma. Everyone can have it. And if you are able to generate a dashboard in just one click and export it. Like you generate your Tableau dashboard in Figma and then you export it to Tableau. You autom And you don't need to know how Figma works. Correct. But just Figma gives, within, within Figma, we have the tools to generate the design you want. That yeah. we, exactly, that we don't have in Tableau. Yes. So basically right now it's like you use Tableau, you use Figma to generate your dashboard and then you export it to Tableau and you already have half a day of work that is behind you, right? Yeah, yeah. And what we wanted to do is currently still called templates, but I want to get rid of that name because it's not a template. Right. The Because the main idea is you are not stuck in color or, or whatever, right? Yeah. It's really a generator. So for us, it's like, it's not something that, that in our mind is not a template that you can recreate, but okay. it's more like you want to generate as many dashboard with different style as you want and okay. you can really it can be unique but the way you create it can be really personal it's more of a building tool Wait. than it is like a um like a copy tool right it's a it's a creative exactly. tool yeah. And yeah i will i can i can of course we will also show it quickly but yeah yeah the, the main idea is, is like you are not you don't start with something that is pre-existing necessarily you can make your own pre-existing settings yeah amazing Amazing. Yeah. And I think, again, two areas where Tableau has been screaming for new energy chart. We talked about Viz extension last time today, mm -hmm. dashboarding and layout and, and, and templating and formatting, actually, probably 60% of people's time, not part of yeah. the visual analysis at all. So if you can decrease that amount of time and the outcome is better and the product is better, fantastic, fantastic. Good. Right. I'll, I'll yeah, give the, yeah. the stage to you yeah. and then uh, you can you can show us how it works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. 
So to explain, it, I like to start with like an, an exist the the existing sales the dashboard that Tableau. Yeah. I just changed the color because I made a, yeah. another demo recently. So this one has two two worksheets: sales and product, and it's in yeah. sales dashboard, right? Um, and we have here KPI, sales map, sales by product, sales by sales. So really standard worksheet. So the main idea is here in Figma, you yep. can make your design, like build a, a design in Figma and then export that in Tableau. Okay. So let, I'm going to start with this simple export. So I have um, I have my, my dashboard here, okay, mm -hmm. with an image, we have some text and then those gray elements are like sheet slash something, right? So yes. here is sheet slash total sales. Uh, this is sales by sheet, sales by product, right. uh, sheet sales by segment, etc. So what you can do is, well, let's, so for our plugin, you find it inside Figma, right? So yeah. you click on the plugin here and you have Figma to Tableau. And I'm going to open the development version. So we have the new capabilities. Mm -hmm. And the way it is like, well, you click on, on the, the chart the the chart the the dashboard and then you yeah. can directly export right so currently I'm just missing one one worksheet one here so yeah what so let's put thing is like the sale sale map something like that yeah. let's add and then it add a new sheet element right that right. you can put and then add in your design right and then once you have that you export your dashboard it creates a new template file. And then if we open that template, we will have the same look and feel as we are, we see in Figma, but this time right. in Tableau. Right? Nice. There's so your charts. Have, nice and easy. So we have the exact same dashboard that we had in Figma. And it's not like a background image or something. Everything is it's true, right? This is like an image that you can yeah. modify. This is the text that you can change. Like it it doesn't, there is no, no. Uh, magic behind is really recreating all the hierarchy, the hierarchy elements and just putting them in different yeah. elements. Yes. Yeah. With the same name that you have them in, in the Figma. So everything is named, everything is in its correct place. It's, and then it's very everywhere, clean. Exactly. Yeah. Because, because our, our Figma layout is really clean, right? So it's exactly yeah. the same layout. Yeah. Every sheet that we had here in our design sheet element are converted to a uh, worksheet in the in the template yeah. that you export. And of course, you can then replace, right? So if you're in Tableau, you could import your sales dashboard and mm -hmm. then, well, let's, let's do it quickly. Let's import. And I think it was, uh, this one was sales dashboard. So let's open sales dashboard. And then we can um, quickly replace. So let me just find, it's this one. And then you can go ahead and be like, okay, this is KPI. Oh, yeah, yeah. Move. Yeah, and so, nice. And right, easy. so you can really quickly put very here, quickly. it's my yeah. map. Exactly. Uh, and this is a new feature, swap sheets for everyone's reference. is a capability exactly. that was added, I swap think, sheet. a year or two ago. And yeah, yeah. you can just quickly re replace this. And even um, they added another functionality, which is related, which is you can swap the data source for a single sheet as well. Exactly. So sometimes you used to have to do those separately but now you can just swap the data source if it's using a separate data yeah. source bring it in and boom like that it's just very cleanly formatted and ready to go and it's got the style exactly. and everything right. nice so yeah. we, we just have saved a lot of time because you Tons would need to go to every of those one and be like okay this is <laughs> especially if you want to respect what is in the in the in the design yeah. right and yeah the designer spend a lot of time putting okay this is three this is seven seven and, yeah, yeah. Everything Very strange right. numbers, but they make sense when you do the design maths. Exactly. Uh, designers do all this maths and it comes up with sometimes very non-logical numbers, but it's to do with how many components yeah. you've got on a page. Yeah. Kind of yeah. Right. yeah, yeah, exactly. So, so yeah. and, and of but course, here we in, go. Figma, yeah. in Figma, when you have this auto layout, right? Yeah. You can, for example... You can change something and it changes the rest, right? Yeah, you can. Yeah. So, for example, you could, yes. you know, play with the the size between all of the element, and Perfect. if you have those two things, that's a demo that I like to do with um, with people who are uh, familiar with with Tableau. So you could be like, well, this here you can just turn from horizontal oh, layout to vertical nice. layout, right? Something yes. that in Tableau you would <laughs> not be able to do, but here you can just, uh, yeah. So. That's just one way. 
yeah. of course, what we have tried to do over time, just like for the Viz extension, is build more and more capabilities. So instead of replacing inside, like replace the worksheet, you can import a Tableau file. So yeah. if I was using my sales dashboard, here I can see already the list of the worksheets that exist nice. in my sales dashboard and then start to replace. So for example, it's not sale, uh, here I put sale map, right? Yeah. But actually what we need is sales map. Sales so it yeah. will change the name It'll here. replace it, yeah. And this is not total sales, but I think it's the KPI. So now yes. it's, it's replaced. And now if we export this dashboard, uh, it's no longer saying template, but it says uh, sales dashboard Figma to Tableau. Yeah. And if we save that and open, this time we don't need to have all of the replace and import workbook. It just we works. Just have, exactly. So nice. we have a product, our sales, and our sales one because we have the same name and now yes. everything is already Everything's there. Everything's already there. Wow. This is... <laughs> Not every client wants to import a workbook inside Figma. Correct. Even though it's in Figma, but it's like... Um, you can import like a TWB, so something that is just the tableau without the data. Without right? the data, so, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, that's something people don't know. So Tableau is just a zip folder with XML, exactly. your data, and a bunch of other things. The mm -hmm. XML and your data are the two most important bits. So you're just working with the XML. You don't need exactly. their data or their connection details or the you know, no. none of that needs to come up. You just have no. um the 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 TWB which contains the raw design information it does have connection details but it's not you're not actually being you're not actually sharing the data it's not kind of going no, up no, to no. figma so it's very clean yeah it's like the twb and i could yeah. use the the and that that is just the xml like yeah. you can really just open that with like a, a code editor and that's yeah. your workbook and there's right? your workbook exactly that's exactly your work. yeah. Yeah. and what we do the figma to really enter in the heavy duty de detail of how the you should go and change all this right <laughs> exactly something, with something that is called dashboards and here yeah. you have the dashboard and that's yeah. that's how a dashboard Looks is like. defined is is yeah. written and what we do is we transform figma to that language yeah and we recreate all the zone elements that's that's what the plugin does it's kind of and interesting then, because what you've mm -hmm. shown there is Yep. essentially a path where Tableau could make this better by instead of using the layout system we have today, use this approach of starting where Figma is and sort of trying to get it to work with the XML. But yeah, it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I cut you short. <laughs> and no, and and that's why we ask for like a um a design like a UI API. Mm -hmm. Because if if we can rewrite the XML by hand, we should have a, an have. API yeah. that allows to modify that that part right yeah yeah so yeah that that was just like a, an example with it's with, incredible and and again really the advantage is i multi-select and i will say like okay i want i can modify all of the like all of yeah. the padding at once i can i could change all of the background color at once like you are you can really much more easily create things and then if you yeah. go to design that are a bit more advanced like this one I will just, again, this is not total sales, but KPI, and this is not, this is sales map, so that's correct. So here we have like, we have rounded corners, we have a bit of shadow, we have a gradient as a background, we have a lot of things that are not possible to do in Tableau, right? Yeah. So of course, when you want to export that, it will say, well, you want to export something that, that we cannot export as a container, because it will, it will not render. You cannot, exp you can export it as a floating, but if you export as floating still, though your rounded corners are, cannot be rendered, but you can yeah. export this as background image, right? right? So if you export this as a background image, let's replace the existing one. Then, and that's mostly for Tableau Public, right? That's how we, we win a lot of time in Tableau Public. We just export and now we yeah. have background image. Exactly. And now we have everything in its right It's there place. and it's nice course, place, yeah. Uh, it's, not, it's not perfect, but... Basically, you like, and that that is just because the worksheet but has those 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 lines to start with. But yeah. basically, now we have just the element like you know floating on top of each other. Yeah, and yeah. It's just, yeah. But yeah. for Tableau, you can now really design your dashboard in Figma, in, and then just place your worksheet where you want them, and then export in one click, and then you you have and it. you're done. And that, and to yeah. be to be honest, that works for a lot of people because they want this. What's mm -hmm. um, this very, what let's say, design 
branded experience, right? So you can easily yep. see a world where, you know, an organization, I've worked for a couple of organizations who have a UX designer who works through Tableau dashboards and um, mm -hmm. trying to understand what is it that people really need. And they come up with a, 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 a style and it's, you know, these are companies with large bodies of Tableau users, but that, that investment into that effort really makes sure the dashboards are clear. And some of that yep. is about brand identity, but you mentioned in the previous video about embedded experiences, right? And I think mm -hmm. embedded experiences are where people do want a very branded yes. Yes. design, right? And this is exactly mm -hmm. what you lean on to, to kind of enable that. So, and, and the cool part is like every, every small, uh, like the, the weeds you hide that you've put in your Figma, in, in the Figma, everything will be respected, right? Like yeah. if you say this element is exactly this size and the text is this size, everything is really, we made sure that when you export, you have the exact same size and the exact same experience as, yeah. as if you know, I did anything. That's fantastic. So yeah, that, that is everything, but you kind of need to know Figma, right? That is, you need to know how to use auto layout because those are built using auto layout. You need mm -hmm. to make design. But for a lot of people, and, and that's kind of the main question we had is like, okay, I'm, I'm not good at Figma. I don't know really how to use. Can I still use your plugin? And that's why we have this thing called now template that will be renamed uh, generator. Yeah. And here is really, well, I don't know how to make a uh, Figma dashboard, um, but I want to use the plugin. So let's start with, let's say sales, and I'm just going to call it sales Figma so we can differentiate. Yeah. And then do you want, do you want filter? Do you want navigation menu? Okay. How many worksheets do you have? So for example, in, in our one, we have four worksheets. So and I think the template. layout kind of we have is this one, right? Yeah. Um, so let's select that layout and then you can be navigation. Do I want to add a logo and you will be able to input your own logo. Do I want the navigation on top, on the left, on the right? So you can really configure and this is a bit like the Viz extension. This will be saved, yeah, right? Yeah. Number of buttons. So let's add two, two buttons. You can select the color of your button. Uh, the design, same, you can choose the background color, the title color, the title size, the sheet. The <laughs> so many options. I love it. Exactly. And and we will add much more, right? This is really an, an ongoing um, process. Like if you go filters right now, we don't have any options, but we will but add course, them. You'll add them. Yeah. 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 And then you say, okay, generate. There and it you is. That. Nice. And then. This, what you can do is you can, you are not um, blocked. So for example, in our design, we had this, what that was much smaller. And yeah. here we had the title, right? Yeah. And you can, add, you you can, can still kind of make a guess. And actually this is, I don't think this is too hard to figure out because Figma is not a complicated tool. And actually, no, no, no. if you spent like 20 minutes just playing with this, I think you'd understand intuitively how it works with very yes. quickly. And if you make a mistake, we'll just generate another one and start again, right? You don't have exactly. to be like a, yeah, yeah. an expert. So it's really good. And then, you know, you know, we had sales and we had like product with those two product detail and, and table. So let's make another one. This one, we have two and it's more like this and let's put product. And just for the sake of it, we can maybe change the background to something more reddish and maybe the sheet container can like, I'm afraid to do things that will be very ugly, but <laughs> you can always try. Yeah, Maybe. there you go. Yeah. Financial times. Perfect. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so you have your two, your two, your two dashboard. Yeah. And of course you, if you export them, they will all have, you know, the, the standard, um, three like bar chart, uh, um, yeah. the template, right? So we yeah. still need to, uh, kind of say, this is KPI. This is our sales map. But you yeah. will see that when when I replace that with sales map, the title automatically change changes. Also, so you're not messing around. Also to yeah. make it exactly, yeah. and to make it a bit more efficient. And this one, oops, and this one was, I think product detail, and this should be the sales table. I think so. And then in any case, when you select both, you should have a tick in front of every one of them. I don't have KPI. This one. This one, I need to go to KPI. Yes. Right. So now I select, and now we see I'm using all of the worksheets oh, that I yes. have in the dashboard. Yeah. And they're going to come so in one can, workbook. Exactly. Nice. Um, 
we had this small convert phone to Tableau phone family. Also, I didn't talk about <laughs> that. Also, if, because people who are publishing to Tableau online, they want the font to be. So let's make sure the that same it's... as Tableau. Yeah. yeah, I think it's Bebas or something like. No, it's not Bebas. <laughs> sorry, it's uh, Benton Sands <laughs> is the official Tableau font. Okay. So, yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's, okay. Exactly. And then we currently that's something I didn't talk about, but like we have those buttons that mm -hmm. also can be converted to actual navigation button, right? So if oh, you put wow. Yeah, so it goes to dashboard basically. Yeah. And it goes to dashboard. So right now when you you generate a new template or uh, you generate a new dashboard, mm -hmm. of course it doesn't know where the button needs to to go, right? So you can either do it manually, so replace dashboard by product figma or sales figma. But what we also because it's always about saving time, you can go to navigation and here be synchronize. And now it's automatically changed nice. in here and the, the in the text, right? Such nice small like there's a lot of thought that's got into this, and exactly because we are it, using it. So. Yes, exactly. You you actually have to use this yourself to to solve real work problems, I guess. And so you're probably doing these things, going, "Oh, it'd be great if it could do this," and you go, "Oh, let's add it in," right? And then you keep going until you spend a week or two weeks, and you haven't had to add anything. And you're like, "Oh, maybe this is maybe this is useful." So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's very so good. I just exported it, and now if yeah. you go to Sales Figma, you will see everything that is there. Your, yeah, your dash. So I, I should have made the map a bit bigger. Ah, uh, yeah. But your button uh, are working. Fine. Also, There's your product Figma. I yes. should not have changed the design, but you see that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the color you can change and and do some other things. Uh, exactly. Some and, other way, and, so. Yeah, because you you still just have exported like a like it doesn't. It's just the UI, right? So your worksheet are still your worksheet, so you can be yeah. like, okay, not have a row bending and you yeah. can have those kind of things but yeah you get the idea right so yeah. really you can make as many template like as many you can generate as many dashboard as you want with really your style so if your style are more like well i like dashboard that have a blue a dark blue background and the text is white and my sheet are more on a blue like really light blue color yeah and you want to generate this you have it right amazing it's just so easy. It's just so funny. You make um, building dashboards a commodity activity, whereas at the moment it's a very time-consuming activity. <laughs> at, at every point you be like, okay, this now I whether you you have selected a, an existing dashboard or not, I want just I want that in Tableau, and then yeah, you you export it and you get it. Amazing. Right? So it it has saved us a lot of time to work with our client because no we doubt. can just think, okay, this is the the standard style that we have. And that's it. Um, yeah. Wowzers. Gosh, Tristan, so much. I can't believe you've achieved this in just, I don't know, like it seems like just yesterday you started with add this and each week, each, week, each month you, you come out with something new. I, like I, 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 I can't imagine where you'll be in two years' time with all of this, right? Like yeah, um, yeah, so. yeah, it's crazy. Two years ago you weren't a Tableau partner. Who, who, who knows where you'll be in, in, in two years' time? Incredible. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, let's let's hope so. And and that's that's really about a mix of Tableau giving us tools, yeah, to achieve more. And also, I think if you if you and I think everyone who has done that has achieved great result. If you dedicate most of your time to something, yeah. then you can go really far, right? Yeah. I think for you is also YouTube, and <laughs> you could also be like, look how yeah. far you do with yeah, with it's true. Is, is the same. It's like when you are on the everyday of like, we are just having this conversation, yeah. then you yeah. have a lot of work to, yeah. to um, edit it and to yeah. make it better and yeah. everything. Yeah. And it's like every day you do a, a bit, a even small if thing. every day it's work two or three hours. Exactly. A bit better, right? Exactly. And yeah, it's, it's actually true. I've not changed the video template file that I've used in four years. What I do is every month I save a new version. And that version has one or two improvements that I wanted to make from the previous one. So when I start a new template, it already has all those changes. So, you know, in the last year, I've added four new templates, one for conversations like this, one for shorter videos, like so many things. But now that file, that file has, I think it's the cumulative 40 hours of effort into it, right? Exactly. And no one is going to spend 40 hours of effort making their template file on day one. It's just, just not going to happen. But this is how you start. And yeah, it's crazy. You just keep chipping away, keep chipping away, keep mm -hmm. one video at a time. And eventually, yeah, you, you get to where and you I are. Think, <laughs> and, and the more you do also, the more you, 
get better at doing. True. Right. Yeah. The you learn the muscle faster. memory and and sort of your reflexes know what's good and what's not, and you you, you waste less time, and also you're smarter about how you approach it. Right. You kind of. You go, oh, to do that, I really need to do this. So actually when I'm recording Tristan today, I'll make sure that I've I've done this and this and this, right? And then that's why I use Riverside because I know I'm going to make my edit faster than mm -hmm. the first time I did this where it was awful in Zoom. And I was like, okay, this is a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say tomorrow, like you will need, you want to create your own custom Viz extension, right? True. Or anything. You True. will take a good amount yeah. of time. I can yeah. probably do it much faster. Yeah. But my next YouTube video that I will, that I will, still real release will take <laughs> days of editing and for you to add that i could have done in 12 right but oh no no it's funny it's one of those things where there's there is a ceiling some skills have a ceiling right there's like i'm not trying to be i don't know an editor for a film or an editor for like a huge youtube channel so there is a point where you have to say no there's no point doing more of this because at that point yes. i'm in another profession right like this is a completely different league so i'm also very humble about that like i'm like okay you know what this isn't perfect we'll just leave it at this right and i think we talked a bit about ambition right trying yes. to make things bigger and bigger yes. for the sake of it there's no need right exactly so out like also if you look at the code, I'm sure, uh, a natural, like not not like someone who was who, who did code for the past ten years, right. we look at the quality of the code and be like, yeah. this is horrible, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because we we spend time uh, to refactor and to rewrite things. Yes. But for example, the first Viz extension that I that I shared was like um, I think the network or something like that, yeah. and it was more like, hey, this is possible, right? Yeah. And then after we have built the other Viz extension with the menu, I revisit it, the network, and be like, okay, no, it was... We could do this better. <laughs> we could do much better, right? So, and so that's why I guess it's the same. It's like not trying to, to be the best at that, but Correct. trying to always small, small increments of, of, of changes. Yeah, exactly. Um, and I think that's what also comes down to is the tools that we built we are building them because it's fun. Yes. Because, we are, because it solves an issue for us and it seems that it solves issue for other people. Yes. That by the tools and be like, okay, this saves me hours of work. And, yeah. and that's really the idea behind it. But it's, it will start to become, well, it is a job, but I, I don't necessarily feel you don't treat like, it like a job. Yeah. Well, yes, I do. I, but oh, well, of course you are a professional person, but it doesn't, it, it, it's not a nine to five in the same way as it is. You're building something that you're passionate about, like a mechanic would exactly. with a car, right? Like it's very and it's different. Mostly, so someone is not also telling us what to build. Like Correct. currently, like we, we, like, I think I have, let me, let me know what you think. But for example, I think there is currently a big issue, like another pain point in Tableau in the way that you use your filters. I don't know if you already discussed that, but yeah. for me, every time that you need to click and be like, okay, show me the only relevant values and I want the selection multiple in a drop down menu, right? And, a, and, an, and an apply button. Yeah. Every filter that I need to go to click and click and click just to make those change. I yeah. want to make a really small tool that you put your workbook, you be all of my filters need to have this behavior, yeah. apply and, and it's done. It's and done, also yeah. maybe see all of the filters where they are applied and those kind of things, right? So yeah. the, it's more you build because it feels like what you want to work on. And yeah, yeah. we don't want a big team. We don't want to have to manage people. We don't want to start <laughs> to, that. that's I think when you lose yeah. kind of, uh, I don't know. That's the fire, the passion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It starts but to become a job. Uh, it starts to become yes. a burden. And yeah, you know. Uh, it's an interesting it's an interesting kind of conflict because sometimes the 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 thing you're building is i think people talk about products but there's also i also think you're building a movement you've got a community of people behind you using what you're building mm -hmm. and it's actually that that you're building you're trying to enable more people to be able to use and do the things they enjoy in tableau faster and better so they can move on to the things that matter which is doing data analysis rather than formatting you know yeah. a, a visualization you're trying to make it easy for the people who don't have a design eye but know that something isn't quite right so give them a slider give them a few options and they know what to do and they can get to the right decision that's 
that's sort of the movement that you're building and it's it's completely different to to, to a job yeah. job <laughs> a jobby job as I, they say. I, yeah i hope so like this is really the feeling i think it's, it's really great when you have the feeling of the it started with adviz when you started to yeah. see the first visualization build with yeah. the tool it, ah, i just managed to build <laughs> these things to the tool and asked, yeah oh. everyone's tagging you left right and center that must have been like you probably didn't expect that as much no. right you probably did it and you thought oh let's see what happens and then you know i think there was a solid month where i just kept on seeing your name tagged in if... viz after viz after viz and i was like geez your your twitter feed must you must have it on mute by now because this is getting funny but then no. on the same on the same token you're probably quite happy and excited and you're engaging with all of these and you're, you're kind of yeah. inspired as well so no, that's yeah. that's a tip for for everyone who wants to be productive. I have all of my notification of all of my app on mute. Like yes. I have zero yes. notification yes. of my yes. So that's, yes. uh, yeah. That's how I started it. that a year and a half ago. I'm very bad on Twitter and LinkedIn. I just don't reply to people because I get there a week later. I'm like, what's that? Sorry, I missed that. Didn't have my notifications on. And I think everyone thinks that because you're on these platforms, you're very good at it. They expect you to be very responsive. Yeah. And it's a, sort of the flip side of what they expect. But anyway, um, this has been an incredible conversation, Tristan. This is yeah, um, so so many uh, amazing tools. Uh, obviously, we spoke last time about Viz extensions. Today, we talked about this as well. So um, I think absolutely incredible the work you're doing. I can't wait to see how the community takes all of these um, products that you've done. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, when they come out and uh, maybe we'll be having another discussion in a year and uh, we'll we'll see where things have gone. <laughs> yeah, like, I think the future is exciting. Also from the Tableau side, like I really hope that this idea of allowing people to build on top yeah. of, of what Tableau has yeah. continued to grow. Yes. Because you could imagine that what, what we have shown right now in, in the Figma plugin and in yeah. Tableau in, with the Viz extension, Ultimately, it's no longer like that you could build in Figma and instead of exporting to Tableau, yeah. we could have the worksheets and or your data, your data source directly inside Figma, right? Yeah. So your dashboard could have live data. So you don't Going need to. Going into dashboard. Exactly. Yeah. So the, more, the more you can use um, the different API, the more tools we will have, the better we can create an um, experience for clients. And there are people who will always want to stay within Tableau Desktop. And that's yeah, what. true. But it's also how you can make customized experience for other people who want to have a slightly different or a slightly more advanced something. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's really what I'm looking forward to, is continue yeah. to do the things we do, but maybe in an even bigger scale, right? Biggest or, context, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that is coming. Tableau are heading in that way. Um, definitely. You see it, the writing's on the wall. Um, this new fourth wave that they have, I think that's going to rely on developers being an integral part of that as well. And I think the the partner of the future is going to be doing what you're doing. You know, we, we come from a world where Tableau partners were mostly just consultancies. I think things have changed now. Tableau partners need to be building on top of the Tableau platform. That's very much sort of clear to me, at least it's clear to, to, to the few people in Salesforce I've been talking to. They want people to take the platform to new places, put it into things, embedding, work with it, VizQL data service, uh, take things in and out, metadata API, mm -hmm. uh, you know, tear things up. There's so many things, analytics extensions, you know, call chat GPT whilst you're querying a visualization. Like mm -hmm. that stuff is now all there for people to do. So incredible. Yes. Yeah. I, I would say I agree with you, but that's really still a vision. Yeah. At that moment, I don't feel like a partner in <laughs> like in a really specific I still believe that it's a struggle a little bit, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it will take time for Tableau to recognize the developer partner yeah. as much as the reselling partner. Yeah. Currently it's still a real it's still a struggle to become a partner to yeah. start with. Even if you yeah. want to develop things, that's a big issue, is like how difficult it is to become a partner. Yeah. And even if you are, Tableau at, at that moment when we are talking today is not, let's say, up to the standard of what you would expect if you want to partner with a big company like that. With a developer, but yeah. yeah. Just, I will not enter in the detail, but just the, the, the experience between developing a Figma 
plugin. So yeah. inside Figma and then being accredited to have a plugin inside the Figma structure yeah. was done in 48 hours. Yeah. Um, everything was tested, done, everything. Tableau took more than 10 months to, to, get, to be able to publish on the exchange, right? Yeah. So there is such a discrepancy between the, that vision of like, we want to people to build things on build our stuff top. on top, but they're not but enabling it. They were... It's almost impossible if you don't know who to talk to and you don't have the right contact within Tableau that yeah. it's it's going to take a bit of time. Yeah, and I think yeah. Well, first of all, I know people from Tableau. Well, I think I think Salesforce is secretly like thirty percent of my audience. I swear, because every time I make a video, I get a message from someone at Salesforce. Oh, you mentioned you didn't have this. Here you go. And like Slack, like literally a day later, it's there. So if you're watching this at Tableau, yes, like. Uh, you know, I've I've looked into the, the the Tableau partner ecosystem, and it's always been this thing that I think was very much geared to the partner, the old type of partner, the partners that are in there at the moment, the incumbents. But um, yeah, tab, you know, Tableau and Salesforce, I should say, Salesforce is is mm -hmm. the company now we really should be talking to. I think they've also they're they're learning a lot about Tableau and they're trying to change Tableau in their image, and that's obviously going to take time. So I'm hoping that energy can follow through. I always yeah. say to people that look. You know, we've been very unhappy with Tableau for a long time. Many of the features that we complained about weren't features before Salesforce bought Tableau, right? So, mm. you know, those complaints go back many years and going forward, it looks like Salesforce is trying to address them, which is a good thing because again, yes. in the last 20 years, we didn't see that movement as much. Yeah, uh, you're right. And also for talking with Tableau developers internally, they also gamble a bit on to, to yeah. see it's not gamble, but they also are waiting to see if what they're built will be used. So Correct. just for the case of the Viz extension, yeah. Uh, I am talking a lot with the develop like the, the team that yeah, yeah. has Wilson, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. API. And they're like, when we released it, we were like really scared of like, well, we spent a lot of time building it, making it available. And then what if no, no one, one cares? Uses what it. if <laughs> no one uses it? Yeah. And from what that I, I said to Jessica. I'm stopping everything that I'm doing right now and I'm and I will <laughs> build a Viz extension. Yeah. And I think the same day that it was released or a few because it was, we already had everything with Adviz. It's yeah. kind it's really, really similar. Yeah. I sent a message to the dev and I be like, hey, I made uh, the network available with Viz extension the same yeah. day. And they were like, yeah. hey, this okay. Is, this is good. This is it's work. This is good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think it's up also right now when 2024.2 will be released mm -hmm. to start using it and letting Tableau Salesforce know how much, how you cool love this that feature. is. Yeah. Yeah. But for them, I said, okay, this is, this is what this is something. Want. Yeah. And this is part of the reason I wanted you here because I think um, there is, yeah, we have to use it or lose it. It's very, I know, I know we're all uh, developers here, but, the funny thing is you and I don't buy Tableau. It's the CFOs and the, you know, chief financial officers of these orgs that, that spend the big bucks on Tableau and they don't talk about these features. So as developers, what we have to do is we have to really showcase what's happening. We have to show what we can do with these tools. Um, and it's not, it's not our responsibility to do that. Tableau have to make good products. Developers have to build good tools. Mm -hmm. But based on what I've seen from you and based on what I'm seeing from Tableau, I think it is really a time now for people to start consuming what's being built. And this narrative that Tableau is dying, you know, I just, I, I don't buy it. Obviously I'm, I'm a Tableau hype machine. I've got a channel called Tableau Tim. Of course I'm going to be like, yeah, everything's good with Tableau. But no, I genuinely think that I genuinely think if you think that Tableau is dying, you've not been paying attention for the last three years. It's like yeah. the exact opposite in my view. And, um, it's the differences that things are changing and the platform's becoming bigger and it's opening its arm to more people. That means there's a great opportunity for everyone to play a bigger role in welcoming those people. And then secondly, creating new opportunities like you have done. And it's a perfect example of that. Good. Yeah, thank you. Well, thank you. <laughs> no worries. No worries. Good conclusion of, yeah. <laughs> I think Tableau is, Tableau is not dying. It could, but let's, let's make, Oh yeah. Like, and, and, yeah, I think it's everyone uh, also the the devs' responsibility now to show that we can make it, we can keep yeah. it alive. <laughs> give it life, yeah. Give it life. Give it a little bit of a a kickstart, jumpstart, and and until Tableau come up with their fourth wave and they show us what they're thinking. So. <laughs>
Good work. Well, look, and we've been talking for nearly two hours. That's uh, that's absolute madness. Um, obviously, people will see this in two parts. That's absolutely fine. Um, I really appreciate your time, uh, and thank you again for yeah sh showing us what you can do with the extensions. Thank you. Thank you also for having me. And yeah, maybe let's catch up again in another year with the new stuff. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. We'll do that. Right. Um, I'll stop the recording.